Hallo allemaal. Hoi, hoe gaat het? This is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how you doing? So, I bought a new Dutch book to learn grammar for beginners. But crucially, it's with exercises. So, in this book, you can help me out a little bit and you can correct me when I make some mistakes. I'd love for you to drop me a comment on this video. I'm going to work through it over the next couple of weeks. That's the plan anyway. So we're going to start with pronouns. This book incidentally is by, <laughs> by a guy called Alain de Raymond. He does YouTube videos to accompany the book and having watched him Similar to English. Look at the table below. I sit at the house. He sees the house. Ik, jij, je, hij, zij, ze, wij, we, jullie, zij, ze, u. I've been practicing this. I've been watching videos on YouTube this week on how to pronounce it. Huis. Does that sound better? I think I used to pronounce it house. Huis. I sit at the house. Let me know with a comment, would you? Some of you have already pointed out that I was struggling, so I've done I've done my homework. Now be good teachers and let me know if I worked it out. Yeah, I moot tatut tatun nitek. You have to do it, I don't. Yemutatun. You have to do it, it's you who has to do it. Zij drinken, zij drinkt. They drink, she drinks. Zij zwemt, u zwemt. Jullie zwemmen. En het is dus voor het. Het is interessant. Oké, okay, I'm cool with all that because I've done years of Duolingo and they allow you to use ja, yeah, ze, ver, ze all the time. I'm okay with that. Next, the possessive. Just as in English, the possessive shows who owns something. Mine, jou, je, u, u, u. Zijn, haar, ons, onze, jullie, je. That's the one I forget. Because it's the same as that one. Hun. Hmm, and that one, um, I'm okay with that one. U is used for the formal you. Or your, excuse me. Your, yao, and ye for informal. Your. Yao is for emphasis, ye yeah, without. Dit is yao auto. It's your car, not someone else's. Dit is yao auto. It's your car. Ons is used with nouns taking it. Zie je ons boek? Do you see our book? Daar zijn onze gerechten. They are our dishes. Gerechten. Gerechten. It's a tricky one to say when it's the g and the r, the next to it, and the g. Gerechten. Okay, 
and then the personal pronouns as objects, like the direct object, he wants me, and the indirect object, mai, me, yao, or yo, yo, yao, yao, ye, u, him. I do get mixed up with him and her. What could be say as well? Het and him, because I've done a lot of Swedish and German, and they're always completely different in these languages. Well, similar, you see, so it confuses me even more. Ons, Juli, ze and hun. My, yao, and hun are used with emphasis. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Me, ze, me, ye, ze, in the plural, without. Ze, mai, do you see me, the other less important. Har and ze can both be used. Ze is used more often in Belgium. Har in the Netherlands. Het is used for nouns taking het as an article. Hem for nouns taking de as an article. Actually, I don't think any of that either. De auto, ik zie hem. I see it. Het boek, ik zie het. I see it. I think as an English speaker, I tend to say het all the time because I just want to say it. Is that yours? 
hij zegt. Ja, dat het goed is. He says to you that it is good. Ik vraag jou. Jouw boeken. I ask you for your books. Do not need a fall in Dutch. Ga jij drankjes nemen. Jou. Are you going to take take your drinks? Ga jij jouw drankjes nemen? Ik doe het voor jou. I'll do it for you. Oh, I'm doing it for you. Make sure you drop me a comment, just in case I got any of that wrong. Hun, hen, and se, I really struggle with this. Rules about hun, hen, and se are rather complex and not always clear. Even natives sometimes don't know which one is correct. I've read this in another book. However, use hun for the possessive. Hun, there and them as well. Hen, them, se, they and them. Ze is more informal, okay? Hen is preferred after prepositions. That is for hen. Hun, aan hen, to them. Ik geef het hun. I, ik geef het aan hen. Okay, so that's the pronoun. The indirect object pronoun. Is that niet hun computer? Zie je hen, hun, ze? Zijn hier. They are here. Okay, so just let me linger on this one for a second. That is for N. So you'd say N after a preposition for N. Met N with them, for them. Naar N to them. Um, what else might you say? You say after hen, behind them. After hen. But everything else is hun. So it's ik, we. Ik, see, hun. Ik. Oh. We're gonna say I help. I can't remember how to do it. Ik. So that is a common, and that is a neuter. Deze, dit, this chair, this chair. So that's common, and this is neuter. So therefore, the 
these are both plural as well. So, the stula, those, is that right? That did, yes, the ones ending in T, I need to, like et. So, the stula, those chairs, these are stula. first case it will depend on the noun it stands with which one to use. Now I'm taking, oh okay, here it is. De, 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 de. Yes. Et, de, 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 de. Yes. Okay. I understood it all by myself. I'm a big boy. Deze stoel. Die stoel. the book
this is just inversion you wanted that you built. Heb je het boek dat je dat vult je? Do you have the book that you want? Let me know in the comments if that's correct. And you could say, Ebbe ze misdoet. Ebbe ze don't. Die the dog that we love. Is that right? Okay. I'm going to put a little sticky here to remind us of next time. I would be absolutely over the moon if you would click like on this video since you watched it to this point and you surely enjoyed it. Drop a comment See you guys soon, okay? Tot ziens.